everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is the long-awaited, um, one of my most favorite videos, as you can see by the title, Nursery Tour for Baby Limmer. This will be the completed nursery tour. We have since um, done a little bit of reorganizing, added some new items in, and um, placed items in different areas since the nursery sneak peek that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago. So today we're going to be going through all of that. If you are new here, my name is Ashley Elise and please be sure to subscribe down below and also turn on the notification bell that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the nursery tour. So for the first part of Baby Limmer's um, nursery, this is her little coat rack that we have. I got the coat rack um, actually from Ross and I had purchased it a little while ago um, when I first started my YouTube channel because I just thought it was so beautiful. And we were not going to use it if we had a boy because it's got these um, crystal little... Um, pieces on it and it just looked a little bit more girly than boy um, but thankfully we are having a girl so we are going to be using this to hang her coats these are the only items that still have tags on it and still are kept together um, we received this in our baby shower haul if you guys saw that as well as this and then we already had these two items um, but she's got two bathrobes hanging there and then two sweaters which I believe are for six months and up um, the baby towels I believe are for zero to six months so we've got those hanging there and then we go into her wardrobe and this here here at the bottom I've kept all of her newborn clothing so anything that size newborn is down here on the bottom as well as this small section up top here that you can see is kind of separated by this zero to three month divider there. So those are all newborn to the left of that as well. Um, on the bottom, I have all of her little onesies there, um, just the short sleeve and then if there's any long sleeve, I go into that afterwards, but this one doesn't particularly have any long sleeve ones. And then I've got her little pants or leggings, whichever you would like to call those and um, a nice pretty blouse and then a couple of outfit sets that are newborn size. Then up top here, I have her uh, footy pajamas, a little bit warmer clothing, which is gonna be great because she is gonna be born in September and we just don't know what the weather's gonna be like here in Colorado. So we've got all of those right there and ready to go. And then we've got all of her zero to three month clothing right up there. Again, it starts off with onesies here, short sleeve, and then it goes into some long sleeve onesies and into sleepers that have little, the little footies on them. Some of them are zip up, some of them are button up. And then we also have um, a cup, like I think one or two outfit sets and then like pant sets here. Um, in here and then we also have a few of the gowns the ones that look like this here so they've got the open bottom there at the bottom it's supposed to make diaper changes a lot easier um, so we have some of those as well and then right here I have this pack of wipes over here on the side that's just an extra pack of wipes um, some little comfy things to go on her car seat if we should happen to need that and then I have this tub here which is filled with all of her hats that she has all the different ones and then in here I have all of her bibs and at the bottom here um, this stuff just ignore that that's all stuff for my postpartum care for myself and then some extra empty tubs there and then we've got that beautiful memory trunk that I'm going to be using for all of her memories right now it just has a bunch of 
um, cards from the baby shower in it right now. And then on the bottom are these two tubs here, both of which are going to be used for um, like upstairs or in other areas of the house for diaper changes. And then just some extra bags here that I am currently storing. And next we have this basket up top here that has all of her different blankets in it. These are all of the blankets um, that are like really super soft. Um, these couple have, still have like little hangers and tags on them. I haven't opened those ones up yet. And then this one was the handmade one. Again, you'll see all of this stuff in our baby shower haul. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. There's two parts. Part one went live um, about two weeks ago when this video goes live. And then part two, would have gone live the week before this video. So be sure to check that out. I will be sure to link those description in, or down in the description box below. Anywho, so that's our little basket of blankets. And then this here, I decided to use for all of her bows. She's got a ton for many different occasions, just all sorts of different kinds. Some of them are headbands, some of them are tie-on. And then we have this organizer here. And in the very top drawer, I have um, more blankets for her. In the middle drawer, I have all of her burp rags and burp cloths, um, however you prefer to say that. And in the very bottom drawer here, I have all of her swaddles. And underneath that, I have this big teal tub and that tub actually has all of her clothing that is for ages um, basically six months and up. Next we have her little pack and play which you guys have seen before and um, that hasn't really changed. I added this little monkey toy here to her um, bassinet, but that will probably come off and go onto her car seat at a later point. Um, diapers, wipes, pretty, pretty baby rug. And then of course we still have her beautiful sign here. She is clothed with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future, which I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so this section here hasn't really changed very much. I still have a bunch of family pictures, wedding pictures, all of that up top there and important things, um, kind of knick-knack type things. And then we still have these two shelves of shoes. Um, these are all, I believe, anywhere from zero to six month shoes. And then um, just some diapers, my camera equipment, some books, things like that. We have this little monkey bouncer that we got from, I'm trying to remember, uh, Once Upon a Child. And then these you will have seen if you've seen our um, baby shower haul. But those two have not been set up yet and I'm gonna go ahead and leave those in their boxes until we get a little bit closer to time or closer to needing them. This part here also has not changed. We still have her swing slash bouncer combo over here to the left. And then that's just some dog toys that are just sitting in that right now. Um, then we've got all her stuffed animals up top there. We've got all of her books and movies. And then right now the bins on the bottom are still empty. We don't have anything in those right now, but her toys will go in that at a later point. Um, right here in the center, you can see um, that is a little night light um, that was gifted to us by my brother for the baby. So we've got all of that there, and then this is going to be my nursing area. Now this has changed a little bit since the last time. Um, on here, I have her little baby's first book of prayers and then one of those um, this is kind of like the hakas that they were talking about a lot on YouTube and a lot of moms recommended them and basically you have it on one breast while you're breastfeeding and it catches the letdown or the um, 
anything that comes out so that you can use it for breastfeeding. And then we just have that rock salt lamp that I moved from my nightstand out here. And then in this top drawer here, I have all of her pacifiers and little passy accessories, her wubba nubs, all of that. And the middle drawer, I have all of her teething toys. And a lot of these have not been sterilized yet. All of her pacifiers have for up to, um, I believe I did up to three months on the pacifiers and then all the toys, because she's not gonna be teething right away, I went ahead and left all in their packaging and then I will take care of cleaning those and sterilizing those at a later point. This down here is just all of our information booklets on items that we've received, the Hatch Baby, um, the Philips Advent Sterilizer, and just more paperwork and things like that that are baby related. And then I have her boppy newborn lounger just kind of sitting right here next to the rocking chair until I'm ready to open that up and use it, but it's been kept in the wrapping for now. Of course, I still have the rocking chair and pillow there for nursing and rocking her and whatever else I need to do. And then this we've added since the last nursery tour. This has, it's just a little table stand that I'm using to hold her diaper caddy. And then underneath I have my nursing pump and her bottle warmer. I haven't opened the bottle warmer and gotten it set up yet. I don't know that we're gonna need it for sure and I also don't know um, where I'm going to put it that's gonna make most sense. But that's kind of where they're just hanging out for right now. And then in her diaper caddy, I have um, not only diaper related items, but also I have like some swaddles in here, um, some breastfeeding stuff, all of that right in there. Okay, so that's the main part of the nursery that's kind of in the main open area that has the majority of her stuff. However, because I've mentioned before we do live with my parents, um, we have a little bit of a unique situation in where we keep everything and where we're storing everything because we don't have a full house to be able to put it wherever we need to, wherever we want to, anything like that. So we're working with very limited space. Because of that, we have some of her other items in some different areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those items now. So back here behind the rocking chair, we have her car seat that's actually um, gonna, it's just kind of sitting there until we install it into the car to, um, get when we get a little bit closer to time to be ready to go to the hospital and then we also got this walker quite a while ago and it's just been sitting here in the box so we've just kind of got some stuff stacked up on top of it but those are also items for her nursery and then back here if you can see it i apologize for the lighting again we do live in the basement so not the best lighting but there's a little picture frame back there that has um, a space for all of her pictures from her first year that was gifted to us by my brother-in-law. These are our hospital go bags. If you have not seen that video where I showed you what was both in mine and baby's hospital go bag as well as my husband's, um, be sure to check that out in the link down below. It'll be in the description box so you guys can check that out as well. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and go into the bathroom here. And I apologize, it's probably not the cleanest, um, but we've been kind of working on that a little bit while I have been. Um, so this top drawer here is specifically designated for all of baby's bath supplies. So we have like some um, aloe and vitamin E Johnson's oil. And then we've got the Baby Ganex bubble bath and that bath set that you would have seen in our um, baby shower haul. It also has this little bag here that has all of her like um, nail clippers, things like that in it. And then this tub here is all of her like baby washcloths. All of these have been washed and run through. So they're all ready to go. And then this is her baby towel and then a cute little Minnie Mouse 
set of hairbrush and comb for the little girl that came from her grandma, my mother-in-law. And then at the back here is just more bath supplies. I apologize for the lighting, you can't really see it very well. But this has all of the um, samples that we've received and then of course the Johnson & Johnson gift basket that we received, which you would have also seen in the haul. And then after that, we are going to come over here. So this is kind of our little kitchenette area. Um, we've got like our microwave here. I apologize for like the boxes of trash. I haven't been able to take that out just yet. Um, we got that little baby bath, so that needs to go out to the trash. It's just a big box in the way. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you guys this portion here. So I have all of the sterilized bottles um, are the ones that are out of the packaging. So up top we've got the three Mickey Mouse ones and then we've got two of these Philips Advent bottles. Um, again, you would have seen these in our baby shower haul. Um, so those have all been sterilized and are ready to go. And then we've got a few extras. I don't know that we will end up needing the baby bottles, but just in case. And then this here is our Philips Advent sterilizer, which is amazing. Just pop it in the microwave for a few minutes, let it sterilize, do its thing, and then it's done and good to go. And then here we have just a few more baby bottles. There's the Philips Advent, and then of course we've got this other brand here which the is the Nano Baby, which I guess is supposed to be really similar to a breast, is my understanding. And this does not want to come out. Anyways, so this is what it was in that drawer, one of the items. Um, it's a starter set, which is designed for breast milk, which is so cool. We received this as a gift from my aunt who was unable to attend the baby shower. Um, However, this is, like I said, it's supposed to be more similar to the breast, so it's supposed to cause less breast confusion, and it comes with all of those items there, like bottle warmer, um, a couple of bottles, and then nipples, and some pacifiers. Um, really cool set. I'm really excited to try this out and see how it works. I have not sterilized this one, which is why it's all still in the box. And then, of course, we've got some... Um, oops, additional bottles of three pack there um, for zero months plus. And then, let's see here, kind of packed these drawers nice and full. Next drawer down, we have some of the milk bags so that I can store breast milk if I need to for any point where I'm gonna be leaving the house and my husband will need to feed her with the bottle. There's a bunch of these, and then of course we've got some more in there. And then that bottom drawer is actually empty currently, but all of that is baby stuff, other than of course the cereals up top, which are for me and my husband. Okay, so now we are popped into mine and my husband's bedroom, which is where her crib is and the last little bit of our nursery tour. So here is her crib, which we did purchase from Wayfair. It's the crib and diaper changing station combo. So that's what that portion is over here. This is what her crib looks like currently. And no, not all of this stuff is gonna be in there. We're gonna be taking all of this like extra stuff out of the crib before she uses it she will be sleeping in this um, when we bring her home from the hospital because it's just right next to the bed um, this is obviously my side of the bed because of the pregnancy pillow in case you couldn't tell um, but these we've got her cute little um, stuffed animal there and then we've got her uh, nursing pillow, which I will be taking with me to the hospital. Um, and then just these beautiful baby blankets that I just thought were so precious. Um, moving over to the diaper changing pad. So that's what this is. Um, this is my snuggle me. So underneath it is the diaper changing pad. But for right now, I've got the snuggle me just kind of sitting there. And then of course, this adorable little dinosaur stuffed plushie 
which is huge and um, we don't have a place for it right now so it's just kind of hanging out there. Next, I will show you guys what I have in her drawers. So this first drawer um, has diapers, wipes, and then of course we have one of these, the Snooza Heroes, which I um, have heard good things about. So I'm excited to try this and see what we think. I think it might give us a little bit of peace of mind, um, but we'll see. So we've got that kind of just sitting in there, um, but these are all her newborn diapers and then a set of wipes. And then we've got her second drawer here. This drawer has all of her um, baby, uh, she's got a three pairs of baby tights here. And then in the very back, we've got all of her baby mittens, the no scratch mittens, and then a bunch of socks that we received from the baby shower are in there as well. And then, bottom drawer here this is just really extra storage um i have her shopping cart cover which is also like a high chair cover um it's got multiple uses that you can use it for a couple of extra sets of sheets for her crib and then um, we've got another little diaper caddy in there which we don't actually need because we do have this diaper changing station and all of her diapers and wipes and everything are in there um, so we don't really need that. And then we've got some laundry bags in there so that we can do her laundry. And um, down here in this corner, we have some outlet covers for baby proofing. Um, diaper bag right there. I haven't gotten that all squared away just yet. Um, that'll probably do after she comes because we're not really going to need it before then. And then we've got this here which has all of her baby stuff. So over here in the corner, we've got her diaper genie right there. And then at the very top, we have another crib set um, that has not been washed yet, um, but we have that backup set. And then up here in the corner, that is her humidifier. And um, we will at some point get that all set up and ready to go. But right now it's just gonna stay in the box up there. All of these are her clothing for um, three months. Yes, three months. So zero to three months and newborn were out in the main area and then these are all her three month clothing. Um, again, we have her short sleeve onesies, long sleeve onesies, and then we've got the footed pajamas, gowns, all of that. And she's also got a few specialty items over there in the corner as you can see right there. Um, those are her like dresses and leggings, things like that. This is our backup diaper bag. So we've got that second one. And then over here in the corner is just this really cute little elephant um, that my mother actually picked up for the baby. Down here we have, um, ignore the Fresh Prince movies, that's just kind of there and some, a little box of like thank you cards from the baby shower. Um, we've got some, the Diaper Genie filters um, that we picked up from Walmart that you're supposed to like change it, I guess like every three months or something like that to change the carbon filter. Um, and then we have this Skip Hop portable baby soother. Um, which I was really excited to receive off of our registry. Um, this is an item and this was also an item that we received after filming the nursery tour. Um, but that's a little portable one, which we will, I'm sure, probably take with us on the go. And then this is a little night light that has some soothing sounds as well. We don't have a spot just yet for it, um, but I wanted to hold on to that because I know that we can put it somewhere um, once maybe we move into our own place. And then over here, this is my ring sling that we received from uh, Pura Vida Slings. There, that was on our registry. And then this bag here actually has um, her homemade choo-choos in it. Um, because they aren't really very easy to hang up and so I wanted to keep them safe so I just went ahead and left them in that bag. Again, you will also see that in our nurse or, um, 
in our baby shower haul. And this here um, was something we were gifted um, as a hand-me-down, just a little crib thing here. Let me see. There you go. Just like a little water crib thing that you can hang on the crib. And then this very last bottom portion, we have a tub of shoes that are all older shoes that she's going to be able to wear. Um, we've got quite a few pairs in there, um, all different sizes as you can see, just some summer shoes, some uh, tennis shoes, things like that, some more baby paperwork and her um, monitor, her baby monitor that we don't currently have set up yet because she is going to be in our room so I don't know that we'll really need it until she starts maybe napping um, without us there. We've got a box of Pampers size one swaddlers and then we have her little memories baby milestone blanket for taking all of her baby milestone pictures. Now this part isn't really part of her nursery. This is just my nightstand. Um, but I did want to show you guys that we do have the Hatch Baby sound um, rest machine in here as well for her that plays like different sounds and it changes different colors. Really cool thing. I'm really excited to be able to use that for her. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. That is going to conclude our nursery tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will do my best to link everything that I showed you guys um, down in the description box below in case you guys are interested in purchasing similar items or even the same item for your nursery. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And then also, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell down below. Um, also in the comments, please let me know what you guys thought. I would love to hear some feedback and then also any other videos that you guys would like to see. I am currently 35 weeks pregnant, so I'm only five weeks out from our due date. So I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to film video wise. I do have a few ideas, but I would love to hear from you guys as well. So thank you again so much for watching. If you would like more updates, um, head over to my Instagram, which is at Ashley underscore Elise 19, which I will have up here in the video. And um, be sure to follow me over there because I do post updates on there every once in a while, as well as when a new video is going to be coming out. I post typically every Monday, 12 p.m. Mountain Time. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in next week's video.